This is going to be a different vlog. This is not one of my best vlogs. It's weird. I'm sorry. You'll you'll see. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.30 in the morning, and I am psyched for this morning's practice because we are swimming in one of the most historic pools in the world today. It's gonna be awesome, gonna vlog it. This is without a doubt one of the oldest pools in the country. Is it open? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a secret. Here, come here, follow me. This building is easily one of the most confusing buildings in the world. Like, you can get lost in here. It's like, an, it's like a crazy old hospital. You know, like one of those super old buildings. Okay, come here. I've got a bunch of, I think these guys are all freshman swimmers behind me. And I'm gonna show them how to get to the locker room when the building is completely locked. It's a good question. What would you do without me? So here is the pool. Pretty sweet pool for how old it is. All right, let's go. Yeah. You gotta walk down this sketchy like, hallway, to take a weird left like, and a weird right. It's just old. Like this is this right here. All right, we're here at the historic Royer Pool here at Indiana. We've actually got three pools. We've got the indoor pool that you guys see us training in all the time. We have an outdoor 10 lane 50 meter pool. And then we have this pool, which is the Royer Pool. This is the pool that Mark Spitz trained at in the 70s. This is the pool where hundreds of Olympians trained before. It's just a 10 lane, 25 yard pool. And this actually, it's super historic for a lot of reasons because this pool is the foundation for pretty much every racing pool in America. So like the Nat and in Indy was designed after this pool. Um, it's just they took this blueprint and kind of blew it up. For like a good 30 years, this was the fastest pool in the world. More American records, NCAA records, US Open and world records were set in this pool than anywhere else in the world. Pretty awesome. So all along the wall up here up top, you've got all these old Big Ten National Championship pictures, all these super famous people back in the day, people that are like way more famous than I am. But there's like 30 people here and it's dead silent because it's like 5.45 a.m. Can you imagine though? Like they used to hold NCAAs at this pool. Like they packed it out. This pool was built in 1962 and is actually the first pool to have an underwater window built in the wall. You see Doc Councilman, who is like one of the most famous swimming coaches in the world, he coached Mark Spitz and tons of Olympians in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, was like a real stroke genius. And you can see right there, those are the first underwater windows. So underwater filming started right here in this pool a long time ago. All right, it's about time to get in. I'm gonna vlog this workout for you guys. We unsuccessfully asked Mike what kind of workout we're doing. That's not good. It's not a good sign. <laughs> Lead us to victory, Gary. is going swimmingly. <laughs> Seriously though, I started the day off rough. I tripped and ate it immediately when I got up this morning. It wasn't very funny. If I had to rate on a scale of one to 10 how I feel this morning, it'd be like four. Oof. It's not good, but we're gonna get through this together. <laughs> I'm at least a six, but oh, God damn. You see diving while sprints? No one knows what's going on. Like three strokes. The diving wall is tiny. They take three strokes and all the way across. Round one is done. It's not going great. Very, very painful. Round one was not great. We're about to start round two. The set is three rounds of a broken forward IM if you're an IMer. 50 all out from the blocks from a dive at that 750s basically at 200 pace on 110. And we're about to do round two. One hour later. I'm really 
really, really unhappy with that practice right now. Like, really not happy with that. <sighs> Leaving the pool now. At least it's pretty outside now. It is be turning into a beautiful day right now. All right. My initial thoughts from that practice were not good. I was not exactly in the best mindset during that workout. Um, so much so that I thought to myself I was just going to completely scrap this vlog entirely. We started the main set and the first round did not go well and then it progressively got worse from there. And I got to the point where I, like, I stopped using my GoPro, I stopped filming, I wanted to vlog the workout for you guys because it was, it was a really good workout, um, a really well written workout, but uh, I just, I was not in a good place mentally. It's easy when things are not going well to just give up and to quit and to lose sight of the bigger picture. And this morning, for a moment, I did lose sight of the bigger picture. Um, you know, I was so caught up in how things weren't going well now that I forgot about the body of work that I'd put in earlier this week. You know, I was looking at this week as a failure at the end of that workout because it didn't go well, not thinking about all the other good sets and good workouts that I'd had earlier in the week. And it's important to keep in mind the scope of everything, right? Like you can't put too much weight or too much emphasis on one thing, whether it be one workout or one task or, or whatever. And it doesn't matter who you are, that happens sometimes. And that's okay. And you know, I got so upset that I like scrapped the vlog, like I let it affect me. And I realized as I was walking out of the pool, I was like, I can't just not do this vlog. Like I've got a little bit of footage, I should use it. I should use this as a moment to, to show people that, you know, everyone struggles and everyone has those moments of doubts. But the way to climb out of those ditches is to keep the bigger picture in mind, right? Is to not to put too much emphasis on one thing and to just move forward. And I realized like, you know, that's kind of what I got to, got to do. Cause when I, cause when I sit down and analyze it, like I did have a good week. It's just, I was, I was really wanting to have a really good workout this morning. I really wanted to hit pace. And sometimes when things don't go your way, um, you get angry and you know, I let that affect me. I'm human. So that's it. I'm sorry that this vlog did not turn out the way that I intended. You know, creative and inspirational. I hope that you guys got something out of that. Everybody struggles. Um, but you know what? It's going to be better. I've got better, better things coming. So on that note, uh, make sure you guys are following me on social media, at Swim Miller with one M on Twitter, at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays. Every, you know, I'm dropping them randomly throughout the week. I'm trying to do more videos for people, you know, and I really like doing them. I say for you, like I like making them. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next video.